Dateline, Los Angeles, 1990. Four Turtle Brothers have taken over Hollywood with a brand new movie inspired by the Mirage comic book and cartoon series of the same name. With great success, of course, comes great new action figures. These ones being re-released, but you get the idea. And today, we're gonna have quite the rib tickle looking back at all these new action figures on Toy Shiz. Tell Babe Ruth that I won't be home for supper. Sit back, relax. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie star series. Let's check it out now. And if everyone is still here after that introduction, hey everyone, welcome to Toy Shiz, and we're going to be talking about the brand new Playmates Toys movie star Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle box set that includes six figures inspired by the 1990s movie take great care to say it just like that inspired by because there's been some changes of course a lot of people have taken to social media to voice said changes but you know what i've never had these as a kid i never had the movie star turtles love the movie just never had it here's the barcode in case these do end up hitting store shelves we really don't know and it's a big fancy carrying case as well I'm just stoked to have these, and these are going to be fun to kind of compare with the NECA Toys Turtles that I have gotten beforehand. And inside the box, yes, just like it says, six movie star Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with pretty much, yeah, recreation of the old packaging. I love to see the artwork like that. I miss these old packages. They are just so cool and so much fun. Even movie star Splinter. I like that they put a little thing with each of the character all the stickers are there but mikey leo donnie shredder splinter yeah they're all here and they all come with a weapons tree now these are not the original weapons that came with the original releases of these turtles so it is really its own thing again it's playmates toys going all right let's do another box set because other companies are rocking teenage mutant ninja turtles Let's be honest with you, and because I never had these, hey, I'm glad that they put them out. And here they all are, out of the packaging. Nice, bright colors. We'll talk about Splinter in just a second. But I like that they gave them those weapons, because, yeah, if I don't use them with these, I'm going to use them with my old Playmates, original turtles that have lost their weapons to time. But really great for the kids. If you're someone that enjoys Super 7 Turtles... NECA toys, turtles, those are expensive. You really want your kids playing with them? No. And at what, $49.99 for six figures, weapons and all, nice packaging? Even if you're a collector, it's a different collecting box. I'm just saying, different turtles in various ways, weapons and such. But we'll just say that it's a great value if anything. And for someone like me, again, for not having these, this is a blast to finally kind of be able to check out so we'll start things off with michelangelo and like i said really nice brightly colored the turtles themselves are painted very nicely and i do remember going to kb toys as a kid around the time when the movie hit when these came out and going why do they have spots and such all over that it always weirded me out but when you do really have them next to the neck of toys one it's cool to see the gradual evolution to come from these old Playmates toys versions and then have NECA just blow it out of the water. I mean, to have these in the 90s, could you imagine? That would have been insane, but it's the toys we've always wanted and it's taken a while to get there, but it's a total knockout either sense, but it's fun to have these old ones. Same with Donatello. Now again, he does have the sores, he's got more of those like sore things than Michelangelo does. And again, I like the different weapons tree to it. I don't mind that at all. I'm going to find some usage for them and putting them up against Donatello. Yeah, you see the difference of the colors. I think Necker really got that light purple from the movie. The smile is there on the original Playmates version and more so the the belts and things again it's just fun to kind of look back and go all right i see where these are derived from sores and all even though neca i think achieved that poor leonardo i think that especially in the legs and the face he fares the worst in terms of those sores and just fyi if anyone was wondering right off the bat right because you're watching this video 
they are more of a rubbery gummy turtle. Now, I don't know if it's the same sort of material they used for back in the day, but they do have that realistic sort of malleable, rubbery skin. So if you were wondering about that, yeah, I can say that I think you'd be happy just in terms of the feel, the texture of them as they once boasted on the packaging. Leonardo's belt and the way that his katanas go in, it doesn't really look the best. I mean, I get it. It's an old turtle, of course. And while we're at it, let's talk about the articulation. Now, for the most part, yeah, all the turtles share the exact same body. It's just reused. You get some nice rotation out of the head and the neck. It's all one piece but it looks to and fro. Now keep in mind, as I said, these are all the same except for the heads, obviously, and the belts and stuff. When you start moving the arms around, you start to see the joints. Now these do allow for some great movement, I'll give them that, but it's not the most attractive thing. If only the white plastic piece was green, I think that would have just fit in a little bit better. And I know a lot of people are gonna look at that and go, yeah, it's not for me, that's not my thing, and I totally get it, but you can hide it. It's kind of like one of those amazing Yamaguchi type things, you know what I mean, looking back now. It's okay for what it is, but it's gonna turn a lot of people off. The belts and such are very rubberized, so they will work for you. You can put everything in, the legs are nice, they'll just go, not much articulation. It seems that he has new peg holes. A lot of these Playmates toys, like the last box set, very large holes on the bottom of their feet, like they've changed them. Raphael, no different. You'll notice that his weapon's tree, it has to go on the side because of his psi securely attached right there. I think that Raph kind of looks the best in terms of achieving that whole movie stylish. He's got the grin, the smirk, but I mean, when you look at the NECA Toys one, I mean, look at that. It's just fantastic all the way around. But the reds are nice. I'll give them that. And yeah, I, I just, I'm going to display these now with Playmates in the front and then the Turtles in the back. So again, I can, I guess I could recommend it in the sense of if you've never had these, it's a home run. If not, I would say go back and get the originals. Now we can take a look at the villain of the box set, the Super Shredder. Again, this one, I Pretty sure I had a Super Shredder hanging around somewhere in the old collection. I'm gonna have to dig through it and really double check. He's probably not in the greatest of shape, but in terms of the weapons and what the armor and everything he entails, I think that he fares the best in terms of near perfect reproduction. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but just in terms of looking at old photos and packaging and everything, he looks great and what's really funny is to put him up against the NECA Toys Super Shredder and see just how far they have come. Now, there is some quaintness, some retroness, of course, to this Super Shredder, but up against the NECA Toys, that looks amazing. It's kind of like he has like a little mini-me sort of deal, right? <laughs> Being that he's different from the Turtles, we'll look at his articulation. Now, he will rotate at the head. I like the helmet on this guy. He's really funny looking and the arms will just go up. He will swivel at the forearm. It'll go all the way around. The armor really does not hinder it as all. The belt is loose. His legs kind of move out to and fro. So he's great. He's got a little bit of weapon storage to him as well. I, I definitely dig this shredder. And of course, talking about Splinter. Now, in various comments online, when this went up for Target and we initially saw the promo releases from Playmates Toys, this is not Splinter or how he was the movie star Splinter when re-released. He was totally different looking. He was more flocked, promoting like the realistic type skin. So he was a little bit furry. This is just the original Ninja Turtle Playmates Splinter redecoed for the movie, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in terms of the paint and the execution on this guy, not the best. And while the cloak garment is okay, the weapons tree is okay, he fares the least in the terms of the paint. And you put him up against the NECA Toys Splinter as well. If the paint had been better, if just the design aspect in utilizing the sculpt had been better, I think it would have been a lot less like, uh, this doesn't work. It doesn't really work for this particular sculpt of Splinter. And they did that previously with the Mirage set that came out, but that one fared 
a little bit better, I think, in terms of all of that. Now, the cloak is nice. It'll work with you with the articulation. His legs are nice. He's got really huge peg holes on the bottom of his feet now. Tail, forearm will twist. Again, see the paint? It just... It doesn't work with this, especially in the eyes and the smile is all off. It looks like he's been chewing on like whiteouts. In terms of the weapons trees, again, I'm super stoked on this and the weapons are great. Clip them all off. It was like being however old I was back in the day doing that and breaking them. I'm going to go real easy with these Michelangelo nunchucks this time. The swords fit right in the scabbards on Leo's back. It's just a lot of fun to have these. And if you are a kid, yeah, you're gonna have a blast. Again, keep in mind, you know, the articulation, the joints, you're gonna see the ball, the white plastic ball joint aspect of it. Splinter holds all his weapons. He's got, you know, the hideaway dagger inside his cane. That looks pretty cool. He's got the big, <laughs> big bow that he's always had. That's like the weapon you'd always find. Shredder, again, I think just in terms of reissue and redoing and putting weapons and ooze canisters and the crane communicator and everything, he fares the best. I think that that is just a knockout all around. If you're missing a Super Shredder for your collection, that nah, wouldn't be a bad way to get one. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at this new box set. Is it for everyone? No. Is it for me? Yeah, because I didn't have these as a kid. Colors might be off in some cases different te textures, aspects. For what I'm looking for to put in my collection on my shelf, it's totally cool. If I really wanted to get the original Turtles, I really would have. I would have just gone on eBay and done it, but this is kind of like a fun new box set, a fun new thing to check out. Splinter is not the best. That is not the way to do that. The paint is terrible on that poor character. Man, they just, they didn't do that. Sores aside, I know the joke. It's not sores, but it looked like that for back in the day. And I still think it's, and I think it's hilarious and it's awesome. Still holds that nostalgic feel, walking through KB Toys going like, nope, um, I'll take the Rat King, please. <laughs> but I am curious to know what you guys think about this box set, in all honesty. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, hey, high five. You and I, we're, we're having some good times with some old toys. Buy it for your kids. If you like NECA's, if you like Super 7's, this is the box set for them, most definitely, both in the price, what you get, all the weapons. You can use the weapons for other toys, just saying. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to old Playmates toys, man, those weapons, there's a lot of weapons. This, this helps. I'm looking forward to that villain's box set as well. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.